What up guys, it's CSS Coder here, and today we're finally gonna do an even better video on how to mirror your iOS device, iOS 9 running through to iOS 12, and get any content on any device that basically has a browser. We're gonna be using a very simple application and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to use this. I am, as you can see or not see, I'm running this on iOS 12 to prove that it does work on that as well. So it's got a really intuitive interface and I've gotta say big thanks to Dino Zambas for actually uh, getting this video out and it's just massive kudos to him, so thank you. One thing you've got to remember is that you need to be on the same Wi-Fi network as whatever you're trying to mirror your device on, onto the PlayStation, your Xbox, or your smart TV. So the first thing you want to do is go over to appvalley.vip. You can see it there, and this is the screen you'll get. We want to then go over to search once we've installed that, and you want to search for an application called Media Box. There are a couple of different ones in there. As you can see, there's two, but that's the one you want, the DTA themes. That's the one you wanna get and install on your device. So all I'm gonna do is simply hit on get, and then it's gonna install on the home screen. Now remember for third-party applications, you do need to go over and change and trust the certificate. So simply to do that, you just wanna go over to settings, and then you wanna go down to general and then scroll all the way down to the bottom to device management where you'll see in there, you can see that one and you wanna hit trust. I've already trusted it so I only have the option to delete the app. So once we've done that, we can now open up media box and you can see all the content that you freaking love, all the movies, all the TV shows, your watch list, settings, absolutely everything like that, everything you'd expect, you know, kind of like a movie box. So what you can see, going through the movies, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of the very latest movies in there. But we go over to the TV show so you can actually see this working. So we go for Family Guy. So as you can see, a lot of the content on here you are able to download to your device and watch offline and also stream offline. But for this one, we're just gonna stream straight away. Here are all the links and as you can see, one of the first ones is open load on 720p resolution, which is gonna be perfect for the mobile device and it comes up as tested on my Mac in a Mo absolutely beautifully. So remember, you need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. That is an absolute biggie, okay? Once you're on the same Wi-Fi network, we can click on open load. Then if you go down to the bottom left hand screen, which is like an AirPlay display, you're gonna click in there, it's my fat fingers not working, and you're gonna be presented with a few options showing you all the devices currently connected on that network. All you wanna do is click on the bottom, which is Wi-Fi sharing. I had to turn the volume down in the background because uh, Family Guy is already playing. So then you're presented with an IP address, which you need to then type in whatever browser you want to play this on, whatever browser you want to mirror it on, and simply press, press play and you are good to go. You can see the phone is paused, you know, it doesn't matter, it's now playing on whatever I've mirrored this to and you can actually come out and just use your phone as normal while watching that content. You can see it's pretty much buffer free. Um, you can't actually see too well at the bottom, but it has already progressed through the, uh, the episode quite a lot, so you're not gonna get no buffering. It's good speeds. It's obviously dependent on how many people are watching it from this, uh, this stream itself from OpenLoad. But that's it, it's working. No cables, no nothing. It really is as easy as that. There's nothing more you need. So, you know, if you wanna say thank you very much, then comment below. If you're having troubles, then comment below again. And if you wanna say sorry for doubting you on the other couple of videos, then do that as well. Uh, but I'm no way affiliated with anything on here. And I must say, once again, a massive big thank you to Dino Zambas, who originally produced this video. And obviously, I just wanted to pass this on to you. Thank you.